Howdy folks. Howdy ho. I am making this video with a lot of vulnerability. Um, I've always had really, really bad skin growing up, like to the point where I would get truancy letters because kids were really brutal and I just didn't want to go to school. Um, as I got older and fell into a skincare routine, my skin got a little more cooperative with me. Then I had really nice skin and then I got pregnant and then there was a global pandemic and I was wearing two masks at all times because people are disgusting. And so of course, as you can see, I am broke out pretty bad. So I am on my way to Ulta because I have been seeing all the rave about this Kat Von D products. It's a full coverage foundation, Apple, something or another. I don't know. I've seen it all over TikTok. Um, typically I wouldn't buy a Kat Von D product, but apparently she has like left and now there's new owners and it's been rebranded and all that. So I don't usually shop at Ulta. I actually was banned from my local Ulta for cussing a lady out for leaving her baby in a running vehicle. Um, but that was back when my hair was blonde and I'll be going in there with a mask and dark hair. So I doubt they're going to know who I am. Um, so I'm going to get a bunch of stuff, see what we can come up with today and see how well this full coverage foundation actually works. I will catch y'all on the flip side. Hopefully I beat this horrible weather back home. Also side note, I typically would have just bought this online, but if I'm spending $38 on a foundation, I definitely want to be matched so I get what I'm paying for. I am sweating. It was hot and a long line in there. Got me some coffee on the way home. Had to stop. Baby daddy wants my coffee. Hopefully it'll give him the energy to contain his anger when he finds out that I just spent $113 at Ulta. So I am back home and the boyfriend is obviously not mad, which is great. He says I deserve it. So I pulled three things out of my Ulta bag first that I always buy all the time, just to give you guys like a heads up of products that I already know that I love. Starting with Tree Hut Sugar Scrub. This one's the Coco Colada smell. It smells so good. It is really good for exfoliating your skin before you shave. Um, it gives you a nice close shave, gets rid of all the dead skin. And the shave lasts for a long time after that. And then you feel nice and soft and you smell pretty. And speaking of shaving, a lot of people don't admit it, but I regularly dermaplane my face probably once or twice a month to get rid of all the peach fuzz. I literally just put a bunch of aloe on my face and then I just start shaving with the little razors. Um, it just helps products penetrate your skin better, cleansers, makeups, it's prettier on your face. Um, I'm really hairy and I have a gnarly mustache and it's super satisfying to watch the hair come off. And then instead of using makeup wipes, I like to use, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, micellar water. This is the brand that I get. Um, it's just so much better than taking makeup wipes and like scraping your eyes off. Makeup comes off super easy. Pour it on a cotton swab, call it a day. So now I'm gonna go into the items that I bought today in my handy dandy Ulta bag here. I'll start with this bio oil, skincare oil. I've never used it before, but I've heard that it's great for stretch marks. I just had a baby. It was relatively thin, so I have a lot of really deep, bright purple and red stretch marks. So I'm very interested to see how well this works on it. I also have really fluffy eyebrows. People always tell me I have great eyebrows, but right now the trend is to like brush them up in like strokes and stuff. I've never used an eyebrow pencil before, but I bought ELF's Ultra Precise Brow Pencil it comes with like a little tip on one end and the brush on the other. So we'll give that a go, see how that looks. From e.l.f. I also bought a putty primer trio. One is a poreless putty primer, another is a matte putty primer. Say that three times fast, that's two. One, two, three, three. Pick up a three, my lord. And a luminous putty primer. Pri pri today junior primer um i usually use elf's squirt bottle primers but i'm very interested to see how well those sit and then i bought some kylie cosmetic stuff um it was on sale i got her kylie lip kit in the shade kylie usually it costs this i paid this 
I also got her bronzer. So I'm super excited to see how well this works. It usually costs this and I paid this. And then the moment everyone's been waiting for, Kat Von D's Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. Now, typically I use liquid foundation. Um, when I was younger, I would use like powder foundation. I've never used the balm, so I'm super interested to see how that's gonna work. Um, I'm gonna try both a foundation brush and a foundation sponge just to see. So let's go ahead and put on some makeup. So the whole reason I went was for this foundation, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that first. Let's open this bad boy up. And what's super cool about this is the packaging is 100% recyclable, recyclable. I'm having a hard time with words today. It smells very faintly of apples. Um, so I'm gonna try the brush on this side and the sponge on this side. Okay, so the product builds up super fast on the brush. Holy cow. Okay, so I really thought that like TikTok was just hyping this up. But that's unreal. And I'm super glad that I went to go get matched because I tried Ulta's like online matching and the one they had me get was like super dark. So I asked the lady there, I'm like, how accurate is your online matching? She said, that's too dark, so. That is unreal. Holy cow. Okay, let me not get ahead of myself. Let me try the sponge. We'll try the sponge on this side. I have a really dark pimple there, let's see. Okay, so a brush definitely works better than a sponge with this product. Let's give this another go. Yeah, I'm um, amazed. It is definitely full coverage and it looks thick, but it doesn't feel as thick as it looks at all. It's like super lightweight. Um, I have heard that if you have oily skin, this probably isn't the best product for you. I have really dry skin because I use a lot of witch hazel. So that's amazing. All right, I'm going to finish then we'll move on to the next product. So that's 100% worth the $38 in my opinion. You can see some of the darker pimples that I had still um, and very lightly like some texture on my face. Um, it'd be different if I threw some primer on underneath it, if I put on some like concealer, some color corrector. I'm sure this thing is out of the world, but even just throwing it on real quick with no product on my face, I'm pretty blown away. So let's see. What else we can add to this look? I've never done eyebrows before, so we're gonna see what I can manage to whip up here. This is Elf's Brunette. So it's just like a little roll up for mini strokes and this. Uh... Again, I have super bushy brow. Just you wait, bushy brow. I really don't think that I would need to fill them in. I obviously don't know what I'm doing. So I went to the bathroom to try and like work something up with my eyebrows. Um, don't come for me. I never do my brows. I don't know how to do brows. Um, I'm in. <laughs> Ew. So I guess that if you know how to do brows, it'd be a good product. Um, it blends well. The brush end works. I don't think I got a color that matches very well. Next, I'm going to open up the Kylie bronzer. This is in the shade. It doesn't directly give me a shade name. It might be tanned and gorgeous. If that's the tan shade, I don't know if that's like a slogan or a catchphrase or something, but I'm having a hard time opening it, first and foremost. Packaging, zero out of 10. 
Okay, it's open. And immediately I see a hair. I'm trying to get my camera to focus on it. Okay, whatever. There's also a mirror in it. Um, there's like a safety thing on it and I bite my nails so I'm not gonna be able to peel it off. So let's see how this works. Okay, lots of pigment on the brush immediately. Lots of color. I have a problem when I buy bronzers that there's never enough color. Again, I'm just playing around. I'm not in front of a good mirror. I'm not like trying to do my makeup well. But from what I can see, it's better than any bronzer I've used before. It deposits color well. It seems to blend well without like smearing the color entirely. Lots of pigment immediately on the brush with just a few strokes. Sure, I like it. There was a hair in it, but I eat fast food, so no telling what else I got in me, so. We'll try her lip kit next. This is her Kylie shade. So it comes with a lip liner in the gloss. It's a matte liquid, actually, not a gloss. Okay, so the first thing I notice immediately is I'm used to my lip liners being like the roll-up kind. This is a pencil. So once it's out, like you, I don't think you can sharpen it. So that's not great, but maybe it'll last a long time. I don't know. I do like how easily it glides on. Oops. Okay, let's add her lipstick with it. It's very immediately matte, which I like. I hate like sticky, tacky lipsticks. It definitely like tones down the lip liner, which I appreciate because that lip liner was a little intense. Again, I'm not doing this in the mirror. Please don't come for me. But I actually like that a lot. I'm surprised. And it's immediately dry. Um, there's the transfer. It's not too bad. Yes, I think it's a good product. Again, I wouldn't have bought it unless it was on sale. Um, it's worth what I paid, I think. And that's it. That's all I bought. Um, so I wanted to try and see what everything looked like in like a natural, natural light versus like in front of a filming ring light. So I'm in my guest bathroom with the lights on. And um, there's the side with the contour. I actually really like it. Again, better than any contour product I use. But again, I usually just buy drugstore products. So it's definitely already a step up. Um, I actually really like her. Lip kit too. Um, if I was in front of a mirror, I'm sure it would look even better. Again, I don't know how to do eyebrows, but the product works. And man, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to run, don't walk to get this Kat Von D foundation. It's off the chain. I'll see y'all next time.